All right. Uh, last day here in Busan, South Korea, or South Korea in general. This is our last full day here for Monica and I. And today's plan didn't go as planned, but we kind of went in with the fly. Just kind of just, you know, played it by ear, as you can say. So originally we were gonna go to Huanho Spacewalk. It was about like two hours and 30 minutes, three hours, give or take, to go to the spot from our hotel all the way up there. It's basically up north. Now we had to take a train, walk, then go to a bus terminal, then transfer to another bus terminal, then walk like, I don't know how long, give or take like 15, 30 minutes just to get to the spot. It's free admission, but it's super sick because it's like this steel beam that you can walk around. They have like certain parts that's cut off, like a little loop or whatnot. I wanted to go there, take pictures, photos, but then we realized that getting there is actually longer than expected. And we took a look into taxi and that thing was about like $100 just to get there one way. And then going back, you would spend another $100, give or take, and then do the same process of just getting there, going back. And that would have been like basically six, maybe seven hours, maybe eight, who knows? But it would have took too long. So what we decided to do was look up some spots here in Busan. And we looked up and we decided to go to, I believe this is how you say it, because a lot of names I can't pronounce, it's called the Jigalchi, Jigalchi, I believe that's correct. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, my mispronunciation of saying things is, is terrible. Anyways, we're going to the fish market. It's the, I believe the second biggest fish market in the world, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a very large fish market, fresh food. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm pescatarian, so fish food or seafood in general is up my alley. That's my interest, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what to expect there, except real good food. Well, we got some rest in, and again, today is our last Full day here in Busan. Tomorrow we gotta, you know, basically pack and dip and then get to the airport. So after the market, we're gonna head out to again these names. I don't know if it's G U K J E called Gook J Gook J. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, that I'll put it right here on the screen. Market. We're gonna go there. It's basically like another like area and like a night food area spot. Pretty popular. Anyways, that's today's plan. We're gonna come back to the hotel, pack all our things, and that's that. All right. Well, I'm gonna pack all my things, camera gear, and then. Let's eat. So we're here at the market and once we enter the market, let me tell you, the whip of the smell of the sea, the ocean just hits you right off the bat. Me and Monica entered this place. I was like blown away with how massive and big it is in general. I was like, whoa. So this is the, I believe the second largest fish market here in Asia. Pan being the first. Tell the vendors what you want. You pay style or however you want to prepare. You're just going to go upstairs where we're currently at right now and they sit you down. But here we are. So we got a couple beers. We got our food in for me. We ordered sashimi and grilled. Your boy's going to try a live octopus for the first time. Kind of nervous, kind of anxious, but hey, you know, I'm here, so it is what it is. When in South Korea, oh man. All right, here we go. Loki, I'm nervous, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna give me probably like a fairly sized one. All right, there it is. I think I gotta dip it in something. Soy sauce, let's get it. Mm. Chew, 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 chew. Mm. It sticks to your, uh, your walls of your gums. You have to chew. I'm chewing. Still moving. It's not bad. Okay. Highly recommend it. it's not bad. I think the fear because it was alive, that's about it, but not bad. You just gotta keep chewing. Mm. You know what I just noticed? Right next to the market is a Lotte department store mall where we were at just last night. But anyways, this building here kind of looks like Australia building. We just got done eating at the fish market. So basically how it works, like I said before, you pick whatever you want at the bottom and they take you to the top. Say what you want, you want grilled or sashimi. We had the live octopus. I was a little nervous at first, a little anxious, but to be honest, me being here and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go do it. So we tried it and it's not bad. It's not bad. I think the fear of me just knowing that it was alive in a sense, I guess you could say, that was holding me back, but I said, you know what, if I get over past that, I think I'll be all right. And it was all right, man. It was actually pretty fresh, pretty good. Come through the fish market. We weren't about to do this. We weren't about to do this. And I think that was the one thing that I realized, like, you know what? I'm glad that we were able to do this. Besides that, the live octopus was good. The fish was amazing, the red snapper. The shrimp actually has like this sweet, sweet, like low key sweet taste, but it was like super good. I was like, dang, this is good. We should have got more. Chow uh fish market? 
highly recommend. I think what we're about to do next is pretty much enjoy this nice little ocean view right behind us. And then we're gonna go to like the little market area, which is about a couple blocks away, but that's what we're gonna do next. We are currently in a style picture, which is pretty popular in South Korea. Basically, it's like a photo booth style and they have a lot of options for you. Kind of like, you know, you pick whatever you want. In this case, I got these little cute little Charmander ears <laughs> and I got a big little orange thing thing. And you know, you get stuff like this, little cute little corgi dog. And you get whatever options you want like this. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty good quality. There it is. A day, we are back at the hotel room. I ended up getting something back from Kodak, the clothing store. Now I wasn't planning to get anything, but I ended up getting this jacket. It's a black style jacket where it does say Kodak in white, and it does have it on the patch side on the left hand side. It is a little bit more on the water resistance, that coating, this is pretty much how the back looks. And towards the end, it has two buttons on the back. It does say Kodak on each one of them, and it does have the strings right here. And this is pretty much what it looks like with the jacket on me. The length is really good. Yeah, it's that jacket. And just like that, our trip here in South Korea is coming to an end. Like I said, today was our last full day here in South Korea. And tomorrow is pretty much a traveling day. Like I said, we're gonna be just basically going on a train, taxi or taxi train to the main part that we gotta get to, to the airport. South Korea was a blessing. I loved every single moment about it, even all the stressful moments, the lost parts, and just, you know, exploring the city in general. So pretty much, Monica and I are just gonna be packing since we gotta leave early tomorrow. And I think that's it. I think that's it. South Korea was a blessing. Loved it a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next moments, but peace.